Welcome to our new segment. It's called Sips in Crypto, also known as Sipto, uh, Sipto by Sim. I think that's what we're calling it. Today we're drinking uh, a beautiful wine from Australia. It's called 19 Crimes. I love this. It's literally my favorite wine. Not because it has crimes in there, but that adds to the adds to the pizzazz of it. It's delicious. And you know, I'm sitting on the beach catching the sunset, and it is beautiful. The weather is perfect. The sky turns this deep pink. I'll post it on YouTube. And it just looks magical, completely magical, right? And I just finished my coconut. And this beach has pull-up bars. And I've been doing calisthenics for a while. And these pull-up bars are the, the, the gymnastics types, right? So it's hard to find bars that are that thick to be able to do proper stuff on because the gym ones are not that, that thick. Anyways, I dig digress. I'm there, I'm doing pull-ups and I'm, I'm doing my calisthenics. Then I'm sitting and having a coconut. Then I'm smoking a cigar and I'm watching this sunset. And it just hits me that I think it's really important to talk about what value is. Because I was sitting there, the wealthiest man on the planet, just appreciating the abundance that I already have, right? So the value of that moment, the value of that time, the value of just the, that experience of life is priceless. And actually, I always say that is life. Everything else we do is logistics, right? All the stuff we call work. It's just logistics to get to the point of having dinner with our families, to, to get to the point of the coconuts, to get to the point of the beautiful sunsets. But the sun sets every day and we forget about the coconuts, forget about the sun setting, forget about the beautiful things in life, forget about the family, forget about all those things that really bring us joy, which was the whole fucking point of doing this whole thing. And we get lost in the game, right? So to me i'm like how would i invest in this world and how do i invest i think i want to talk about that on a personal basis because to me the value of investing is to gain a quality of life for me and my loved ones and people that i care about right so what is quality of life right for me i had to really go through a lot of work to 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 break this down but here's here's my hierarchy okay health is number one health is absolutely number one if you're healthy to me the most important thing in life is health to feel healthy to be healthy for me for my loved ones for people because if you're healthy you already are doing a lot of good work to feel good you should feel good if you're if you're feeling healthy right now investing into health has the highest roi right because I would be in Canada driving my little Jetta, right? $8,000 used car that I'd bought, making $80,000 or something. And I would go in and I would buy the best groceries I could buy, period. These, the best groceries that I could buy, I would buy those. And at the same time, I would see a lady walk out of a Mercedes GL 630 and walk in and buy no name groceries and put it back into her Mercedes and take them back. And I was just thinking, how is it that we're investing? We're buying nice cars and buying nice purses. That is the goal. But actually what we put into our temple, what we consume and the investment into our health is very, very little for a lot of people, right? So for me, when I have to choose how to invest, if I can invest into my health, that has the highest ROI for me because I will return on that capital for the rest of my life, right? And so investing into health is a huge way of investing. Crypto isn't the only way to get rich. Be healthy and fit. That's uh, You're already richer than the sickest billionaire. And then another way to invest is into the quality of life, right? So, so before, before we get to that, like... The other highest ROI investment that I've had is my skills, right? Myself, teaching myself things. And I spent 15 years from the age of 15 until 30. Every single day, every single night, every single weekend, every hour that I could find, I was learning. I just got addicted to watching documentaries about everything, quantum mechanics, this, that, whatever it was. I would just absorb and learn everything I possibly could 
so that I could actually become capable of achieving the life that I wanted to achieve, right? So all that time, I think I invested, I invested an enormous amount of money having a tiny little car, little car and living in a tiny little place and invested all the money into my own skills and it took 15 years for that to show off. But when it showed off, holy fuck did it show off, right? So that the return on investment, even though it may not be quick of teaching yourself things and becoming more skilled in whatever you're doing or learning new skills is insanely powerful, right? Again, higher ROI than any money, any crypto, any of that stuff. Then there's investing into your relationship, right? Because what I find a lot of times people come to me and they'll say, hey, um, I have all of this money and I want to learn how to invest it. And I would love to you know, get your advice uh, or just your you know, consultation on, on what you see that I'm not seeing, right? And a lot of times I'll do the analysis and I'll say, okay, what's your goal? What are your goals, right? And the goals will say something like, give my family a good life, financial freedom, you know, um, quality time to be able to spend, da, 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 da. But then when you ask about how the person lives their life, they'll say things like, well, I work my ass off. I do all this stuff. I'm in the office all the time because I'm building my business. And then it's like, okay, well, your goals and priorities are your family, yet you're spending all this time over there and you, you realize that it doesn't, there, it, there's no there there. There's no there there. You know, you can chase it all you want. You can chase success. You can chase money. You can chase all these hollow things. There's no there there. You never get there. And, you, and when you do get there, it sucks. It literally sucks. You know, I'm in, I'm in Canada after these 13 years of working and the last two years, well, technically the last three years, but let's say the last two years were I had quit my job and I'm working full time on this company that I was building, the cannabis company, because cannabis got legalized in 2018. We'd been working on building stuff there and I'm working, but I'm getting paid like thousand dollars per month in Canada. Right. But I have shares of this company and I have all this stuff and people are, you know, people think I'm bawling because they're like, you built a weed company. You're officially going to become really rich. And, but at the beginning, that's not the case. Right. So I have achieved the levels of success that I had set out to achieve. I had finally built something that was solid and I nailed it on the head and I rode a market, you know, all that stuff. But I felt miserable. I'd be sitting there staring out of this window, crying because it's blizzarding on the ground. It's minus 30 degrees. The windows are frozen from inside. And I haven't seen the sun for two months, right? And, and I've been going 13, 15 years straight to get to the point of feeling successful only to realize there's no there there, right? And so then I, I decided a long time ago, I'm, my, my metric of success is to have sun over my head, to be healthy, where the wind doesn't hurt my face. <laughs> I want coconuts on the beach. I want to watch sunsets and I want a good woman, you know? All, that, that's about as good as life gets. Beyond that, it doesn't get any better. It just stays good, right? So now I'm sitting there in that state because I realized I, I had, have shifted the way that I invest. My time, and now I'm 35. I just turned 35 a couple of days back. And I, from now, I'm like, I want to live life in a way where my priorities always stay in place. Right? I'm investing into my relationship. I'm, I'm investing into myself, my health, you know, my, my community, my just, just day-to-day -day experience, right? And actually that is returning way higher ROI. You know, instead of starting a bunch of businesses, if you just become the best person, then you start to pull in the best people from around you and your life just automatically becomes better, right? Like this wine. So investing into yourself, investing into your relationship, investing into your health, and then, then investing into, you know, your business, your ability to generate money, whatever your, whatever your, your, maybe it's your passion, maybe it's your business, whatever. Investing into that done the right way, again, is infinite ROI if you can do that right. And then investing into the markets. Right, remembering that the market investment is for those other things, or however your priorities are aligned. Right, and I'm just saying, 
everybody's hierarchy is different, but putting money in its place, putting crypto and investments and all this stuff in its place and remembering what the end goal was. The end goal was to live life and everything else is just logistics.